So your training center said you had to go through an internship just to earn your certification? That sounds really crazy to me. As a matter of fact, it sounds like a violation of training standards. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and today we're going to clear up some of the confusion on internships in the scuba industry. We're going to talk a little bit about are they good or are they bad and we're also going to talk about if they're not conducted properly how they can actually be a violation of training standards. So here recently I had a student come in and he asked about or inquired about the professional level courses through SSI and he says hey I'm interested in taking the dive master program, the assistant instructor program and even becoming a dive instructor and furthermore he wanted to know more about how he could obtain a job as a scuba professional once he become a scuba professional. And so I sat down with him for about an hour and we went over training standards and I showed him all the minimum requirements for those three levels of courses and then I talked about how he could get a job after the fact. Now I didn't specifically say you could get a job with us because I think a lot of times people don't take professional level courses because they assume that once they become a dive professional they've got to work for that shop. And the reality is that's not true at all. You know we're an ITC center here. That just simply means we're an instructor training center. And we train people and they go out and get jobs all over the world. Uh, two of my recent instructor students, they work for a dive center you know, a couple states away. So the fact of the matter is, is that once you get trained and once you're certified, then you're going to go out and get hired somewhere and then actually go through an internship or what I call training, on-job training, to actually work as a scuba professional. So let me try to relate this to some more real-world situations. You know, for 10 years I was a law enforcement officer. I worked both as a deputy sheriff and as a police officer. And to get hired in that field or in that industry, I had to go through my training. Let's say my dive master assistant instructor instructor training. And I sit through a six month program. I earned my North Carolina State law enforcement certification. And then I had to go out and actually apply for a job. Now I applied here at our local sheriff's department. I actually got hired back in 2004 and got sworn in as a deputy sheriff. Now, as a deputy sheriff, I still had to do my internship or my own job training. And that's where I sit through a three month training program with a field training officer until he felt that I met the standards of that department. And then I was cut loose to actually go out and work as an officer. Well, after several years, I decided to transfer to an adjacent city as a police officer. And so I transferred and lo and behold, guess what? I had to go through another internship or what we call the on-job training, if you will, for an additional three months. So I was already sworn in, I was getting paid to work, but I still had that supervisor there that was overshadowing me for everything I did for three months. Once I met the requirements or the standards of that department, then I was cut loose to actually work in that field. So then after I got out of law enforcement, it was kind of the same way. Every job I had in between, I had to go through on-job training. So the internship versus on-job training is kind of the same thing. What we can't do though is put that internship during the certification phase. And let me explain why. There's a lot of training centers out there that'll say, well, to become a dive master, you've got to do a three to six month training program with us or an internship with us. And that's actually a violation of training standards. If we look at the SSI training standards for their dive guide slash dive master program, it clearly states that the dive guide program is a 35 to 45 hour program. In short, that's only a matter of about four days. So after that four day program, if that student meets the minimum requirements, then they must be certified, say, as a dive guide. That doesn't necessarily mean they're automatically going to start working because they've still got to go out and apply for a job at a local training center or wherever they want to work. But it does mean that they're going to get certified because they met those minimum requirements. If I put a requirement on them and say, hey, I'm going to make you work says free labor for three to six months before I issue the certification, then that's actually a violation of training standards. Now, if you're currently going through a dive master program and your training center has told you that, my suggestion to you is actually contact a training agency and explain to them what they're making you do because that training center can be a violation of training standards. But guys, I hope this video is 
not condescending to you. I hope that you understand that an internship can be a good thing. Once again, I call it on-job training, not necessarily an internship, but it always comes after the certification, not before the certification. You know, like I said, we are an ITC facility here. We're an instructor training center. That simply means we have people come to us all the time to become a dive professional, then they move off and they do bigger and better things wherever they want to. We don't always hire them straight here, so we don't necessarily have to do that internship with them. And we never do the internship during the training phase. We always do it after the certification. And once again, we really shouldn't call them internships. We really should call them on-job training. But guys, I hope you liked this video. If you got any questions or comments about becoming a dive professional, please put it down in the comment section below. I promise you I'll read it. I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. If you got any future suggestions in a video or whatnot, please let me know down below and I'll try to make a video specifically for you as well. Guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, simply smash that like button for me. Definitely share this video. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.